Hey, what's up, guys? It's Nick, or O-Drums here, and today I'm going to bring you guys the uh, long-awaited uh, paper background tutorial. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, like the uh, video that I put up uh, explaining if I wanted, like, I wanted a certain amount of likes to see if it was worth doing it, and so I want to thank all the people that liked it on uh, Defocus, Defocus Productions and DVD Me Gaming. Uh, also, before this video starts, I did a color correction based off um, Phase Mink's color correction in uh, SDHD's Horizon montage from Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I want to thank uh, FCHD or Forces Down for um, commenting on the video and saying good job and everything. Uh, it's good to see uh, support from people who uh, actually uh, are traded what I'm trying to recreate. And uh, I want to say thanks to all those people out there, and especially FCHD. So let's uh, start this up. I'm going to jump into this. Um, to do the uh, paper tutorial, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need, uh, I have a YouTube template background. Uh, you can uh, just find these on YouTube, just search it up, and someone's uh, spent the time to make one. Uh, just a basic uh, background. You're going to need a, uh, uh, oops, what did I do with this? Uh, yeah. You're going to need a, uh, like a, if you want a Call of Duty character or just any object, um, this is a render. If you guys don't know what a render is, it's basically um, a high quality image that's been cut out uh, already, so it's like pre-cut out. and. Um, you know, as you can see, it's just a little character. Uh, you can find these on, you know, Google Images or just like search in Google or whatever, um, like video game renders or just renders in general for like Photoshop, and you'll find you no know, pictures that are already pre-cut out that you can use for this kind of a uh, uh, effect. So, besides that, you will also need, um, if you want like a little thought bubble, if you want the character to say something, you need one of those. Um, you're gonna need a white paper texture. Uh, you could probably search this up on YouTube or Google. Someone's got a picture of uh, just a white paper. Um, and then some kind of texture. I'd have this, uh, like, just this texture I found. Uh, and you're gonna need this for uh, the background to sort of give your background uh, some flair overall. So let's start it off with the uh, the main technique is gonna be. I mean, it's pretty simple and you just like re reuse it throughout everything to make everything look like it's cut out but uh so here's how you do it so you get your render or whatever you're trying to cut out here uh you go ahead and you get your magic wand tool and you just click and select uh oops hold on i got uh, this hmm. okay let me delete that oops why now <laughs> why did that happen okay delete that really quick so go ahead and select the uh, background of the character uh, I, I uh, just went ahead and I selected an area of my white paper background and just made it on a layer behind him so just go ahead and do that um, so after you selected the uh, background of the character go ahead and click select and inverse so that way it's only selecting him go to select one more time and hit modify and expand and this is the main part of it I'm gonna expand mine about 10 pixels okay so you can see it's uh, the selections gotten larger around him go ahead and click on your paper uh, layer now select one more time and then go to inverse and now what you can do is just click delete and now you have a paper cutout behind him so you can see there's just a paper background of him and then that um, goes on top so what you want to do with your uh, character layer is just change his uh, blending options from normal to multiply. And then you might want to take the opacity down a little bit, uh, so that way you can see the uh, lines in him a little bit better. So what you want to do is just go ahead, right, uh, you know, control, click them, or command or whatever, uh, right click and merge the layers. And then now you can just move around. And so what you want to do is just click uh, your select tool, select the character, Copy it, go to your template, make a new layer, paste him, and then now you have your character who looks like he's uh, been drawn or cut around on a piece of paper. So just go ahead and I'll go ahead and um, transform him, hold shift to keep the scaling, and I'll just make him smaller so it's better on the page. So about there, maybe a little bit smaller, uh, depends on you know how big your computer screen is, it might get cut off. Um, I don't know, I'll just put them here, even though that would get cut out on my computer, on my browser. 
So apply the changes, and now you got the character. So to do um, some text, I'm just gonna Control Z all this. That. Delete the character really quick. See if that. Okay, it's still there. Good. Make a new layer. Text tool. Make sure my uh, my color's black. Now the uh, the traditional text that everyone's going with is called slant, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with that. You search up on defont.com for free. I'm just gonna put uh, paper background, and I'm gonna I'm just gonna line it up here on this nice little crease so it looks more realistic. Um, now go ahead and same technique again. Just gonna select the background, select inverse. Um, oops. Select modify, expand, and pixels. Go this layer. Inverse one more time. Delete background. Now you have that. Uh, go ahead and change this to multiply. And the opacity down a little bit. Maybe about uh, 80. Merge the layers. Select it. Copy it. New layer. Paste it. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit, transform, and uh, counterclockwise. Now you got that. Looks pretty nice already. I mean, you're pretty much getting there. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and move this guy down a little bit. Now I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the thought bubble. Um, this, you can just look this up on Google Images, like I said. Uh, I already just selected the insides of these rings and just cut them out. So just make sure you uh, do that. You can hold shift and select multiple things. So I'm just going to go and highlight that, copy it. Go back over to this one, Control Z, and just get rid of all that stuff. Delete that. Oops. Paste the bubble. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just flip it around really quick. Uh, change this to. Uh, oops. There we go. I like that again. Select inverse, modify it, expand it. Go to your paper layer. Select inverse, like that. Change the feasible uh, layer to uh, multiply. Lower the opacity a bit. So looks more like a pencil, I guess. <laughs> Merge those layers. Copy it. New layer. Paste it. And you're pretty much already there, you know? You got this uh, character that's coming together. So I'm going to go ahead and just size that down really quick for you guys. Okay, about there. And you could just go ahead and, you know, do the same process for this and just do some text in there if you want. Uh, actually, all you need to do for that is actually just add some text. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll just go ahead and do it. Uh, let's see. Some new text in there. I'll go with, uh, I'll go with this one. Just type in, like, hello. Drag it there. Size it down a little bit. Maybe about uh, 60. No, smaller. Six. Okay. That should be uh, pretty good. All right. Now let's go ahead and what else do I need? Oh, I need the background now. So I have this texture that I found. I'm gonna copy it. Go ahead to my template. Uh, I'm gonna make two layers. 
and make sure that they are the very bottom layers. Face this background. Uh, it's kind of small, so I'm going to stretch it out. Hopefully, it, it wouldn't lose quality, but I don't know. So, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and transform it. And drag it down as much as I pop probably can. Hopefully, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, Alright, it's, it's alright. I'm going to go ahead on this layer, the one I uh, created on top of it. I have a uh, blue already chosen. Uh, I don't know what happened. There we go. Uh, if you want to make your lines perfectly straight, you can just hold shift as well while you're doing this. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and take this and change it to multiply. And now it looks kind of like more paperish. Uh, you could also just, uh, a lot of people just take off the, um, like just make it fully colored. So, you know, just make it one solid color, but you could also do this sort of paper style. And then what you want to do is just go ahead, get a, uh, a large soft brush, and just sort of fade that off. And then if you save it like this, you could just make the, uh, when you put it on YouTube, just make your background color white. And that's about it, guys. Um, so yeah, I leave some uh, more tutorials uh, requests in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's a pretty simple thing to do. And uh, yeah, thanks for the support. Don't forget to subscribe or like the video if you liked it, or if you want more tutorials. And um, yeah, catch you guys later.